Hi, Christy here. Today I want to talk a little bit about triggers versus cues. You know, I had someone comment on my YouTube post about the Akashic Records saying that she struggled with self-doubt. That got me sort of thinking about this idea of triggers and cues because triggers we tend to think of as our own issue. Like if I could heal that, I would be better off. You know, I'd be a better person for one. <laughs> Something that triggers self-doubt. Oh, you know, why am I triggered by that? And it sort of becomes a self-fulfilling thing where, oh, I'm getting triggered and I doubt myself and then I doubt myself because I'm not good at not being triggered. I think it's helpful to reframe triggers as cues. It's the habit. It's something we've done many, many times. Maybe it's when you get angry, you want to eat or whatever. Like, And you've done it so many times. When you get angry, you think of food. But it's something that can be retrained. It can be noticed. Oh, that's a cue for me to do that behavior or to have that thought versus some trigger where you get a you know, try to dig it out of your system. To me, triggers are very triggering <laughs> because they, they make us wrong versus cues make us a being that has a neuroplastic brain that has created a pattern that we can then uncreate. So my recommendation is if you start thinking about triggering to start reframing it as a cue that's much less charged and therefore more easily released. What's your thought on triggering versus cues? Do you feel like you'd rather be noticing cues than triggers? I'd love to hear that in your comments below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, please go be brilliant.